I'm Ian Stewart, author of Symmetry, a very short introduction. Now, symmetry is a very important concept in science, it's important in art, and it's something that the human brain seems to be very aware of. If you see a symmetric object like a starfish with five points to it, you think, oh, that looks nice. Um, so the idea of the book is to explain how these rather informal ideas of symmetry that we've had for thousands of years uh, have led to a mathematical theory of symmetry, um, which is actually very important, very powerful. Um, technically it's called group theory, and I talk a little bit about group theory itself. And this has applications all the way across the board, not just in mathematics, but in the sciences, and it's even used by artists to make beautiful paintings and interesting pictures. I decided to introduce the book with two children on a boat playing rock, paper, scissors, which is actually a very symmetric game because paper beats rock, scissors beat paper, rock beats scissors. So it goes round and round in a kind of triangle. So in that one game, you see symmetry, but it's symmetry not in a spatial sense, but just in the structure of the game. And the mathematics of symmetry is a kind of abstract version of all the different ways in which things can be symmetric. It's not just geometry, it can be something um, that is not a shape at all. One of the most important areas where symmetry I think is, is very interesting is symmetries in the natural world. Now, I'm quite interested in sand dunes. Uh, I've never done research on sand dunes, but they are wonderful shapes and uh, my wife and I uh, have been to Egypt many times and you can't really go to Egypt for very long without coming across a sand dune. But if you look at satellite photos of sand dunes, you discover they form amazing patterns in the desert. When you're close up, you can't really see them, but from 100 miles or so away, they form stripes, for example. Stripes aligned with the wind or at right angles to the wind. They can form stripes that have ripples. My favourite are crescent-shaped sand dunes, which actually move very slowly. The wind blows the sand up the back of the crescent, over the top, and these dunes are enormous and they can engulf an entire village. <laughs> and you wait 50 years and the village emerges again from underneath the sand dune. <laughs> so there is a really interesting mathematical structure and sand dunes are very symmetric. In fact, they have very similar symmetries to stripes and spots on animals, which is another application. I, I had a lovely interaction with a tiger once explaining symmetries to an audience that was sitting there going, a tiger, a live tiger. So the book ends with some of the more modern applications in fundamental physics and some of the pure mathematics of symmetry that's been discovered recently.